everyone, it's me, Peach Pet Paradise, and today's video is Rat Types, Markings and Colours. Now firstly, there are way too many types, markings and colours to go through this video. If I went through every single one, I would be here for hours. So I'm going to go through the most common types, markings and colours. Hope you enjoy, learn something and find this helpful. So firstly, I'm going to start with body type. The first one is top-eared. This is where the ear placement is on top of their head and these are usually the most common type you will see around. The other type is Dumbo-eared. This is where their ear placement is on the side of their head instead of the top, but these can be larger in size. Then there is the Dwarf, which is basically a very small rat and they don't grow to the average size of a standard rat. Lastly, there is a tailless, or known as the Minx. This is where they are born with no tails but surprisingly, they can actually balance well. Going on to eye types. Starting with eye colour types. The first one is pink eyed. These are often found in the albino and Siamese and can be a darker shade of pink. Next is the ruby eyed. You can get quite a range of shades of ruby eyes. Some can look dark red, others can appear bright light red and some even black. This eye colour is most commonly seen on the beige and fawn rats but it can sometimes be seen in colours such as mink, blue, havana, mocha, dove and a few other colours. You can also get the odd eye, this is where they have two different eye colours, generally one black and one ruby or one ruby and one red eye and one ruby eye. Now this is very rare but you can get some brown eyed rats, these are called pigments. And lastly is black, these are clearly black eye even seen through camera. Now going on to fur types. So firstly we have the standard smooth, this is where they have smooth fur, these tend to be the most popular rat, although there is difference in females and males fur, females tend to have more softer, smoother and silkier fur, whilst males have more coarser, wiry and thicker fur. Next is the rex, this is where they have curly fur and whiskers, they tend to be more curlier when babies, females often lose most of their curliness as they grow older, whereas males tend to keep the curliness. Their very curly rexes are also called bad rex, or if they appear more wavier than curly, then these are called velveteen. These also come in a range of different colours. Then there is the double rex. These have two of the same genes from the rex which makes the fur and whiskers so curly. It does depend on genes though. They often end up looking very different. Some have patches on fur through their life, some others lose it and grow it back, and then they can end up with different markings, then there are some who are completely hairless and grow the fur back and they come in many different colours as well. And to finish off the most common fur types is the hairless rat. This is where they are born with no fur and completely bald. You can get both top eared and dumbo eared. Next going on to markings. First is the hooded which is where they'll have one colour covering the whole head and forming a full line down the back on the white body to the base of their tail. This is what Cookie is. These are very common and popular and you'll often see these in most pet shops, rescues, breeders and you can get them in quite a few different colours such as black, agouti, fawn and blue. You can also get the broken hooded but the only difference is where the line marking from the head to the back cuts off so it's known as the broken hooded. Next is the masked. This is where they have a little coloured patch around their eyes forming a mask. Usually their bodies are white in colour and the mask is a different colour. Then there is the patched. They look very different depending on the rat. They can have patches all over their body and they come in many different colours. Then there is the Berkshire. This is where the top coat is dark in colour and they'll have a white underbelly with white paws. Then we have the down under. This is where they'll have markings on both top of the body and under the belly. Next is the Irish rat, which is where they are one colour and they'll have white paws and have a small white patch in the centre of their belly. Then there is the English Irish and they also have white paws. The only difference is they have a white diamond shaped patch on the centre of their chest. Then we have the self, which is where they are one in full colour, they have no markings or spots on them. Then there is the Essex, which is where they are a shade lighter white gently from the top. They also have a spot on their foreheads. Lastly we have the variegated, 
which is where they usually have a hood and a blaze on the forehead and then some small patches going down their backs to the base of their tail. Lastly, going on to colours. There are so many colours of rat out there, so again I'm not going to go through every single one, but I'm just going to go through the most common. Starting with the most common colour, agouti. This is where the fur on the agouti's black flanks is multicoloured with stripes of chestnut brown and black on a dark grey base colour with solid black guard hairs. The belly fur is ticked but in shades of mainly grey and white which gives a silver effect overall, giving them that wild rat fur look. Next is the white. First white and most common colour is the pink eyed white but mainly known as the albino. It has white fur covering the whole body with pink eyes. Then there is the black eyed white which is where they are white in colour but have black eyes. Then we have the silver fawn also known as amber a pale apricot or fawn coloured coat, evenly ticked with silver guard hairs with red eyes. Then there is the black, which has a dark coat, and they can range from a chocolate colour to jet black, and these have black eyes. Then we have the beige, this is a light beige with a slight grey tint, and they have ruby eyes. Then there is the champagne, which the whole body is a very pale cream colour, and they have pink eyes. Then we have the mink which is a mild grey-brown colour and can often have silvering or patches with a distinct bluish sheen with black eyes. Then we have the blue. This colour comes in many different shades but this is a slate grey blue to pale grey blue and they have black eyes. Then we have the chocolate. This is a deep dark brown on the whole body with no white hairs or patches and they have black eyes. And then lastly I'm going to finish off with the cinnamon. This is a cream mink reddish brown colour and this can range from a deep ginger to a lighter brown with black eyes. So that's the video on types, markings and colours. As I said there are only some of the common ones in this video and there are so many more out there but I hope you enjoyed and learned about this topic. I'll also be doing about hamster types, markings and colours so you can learn about that one too. Any comments or questions leave them down below. If you like our videos and want to see more, then go subscribe. And if you liked the video and found it helpful, then don't forget to hit that like button. And we'll see you next time. Bye!